Today I'm going to go over our portable live streaming rig and why we went from the 4 channel Atom SDI to the 2ME constellation. I'm going to start with the exterior. We got the 8U SKB case. Why we chose this one specifically is because it has wheels and it makes traveling much easier. We got the 2ME constellation up top that has 20 inputs and 20 outputs as well as two multi-view outputs. We do have the two multi-view outputs coming back looping into channels one and two. Why that's helpful is then we can assign outputs to different monitors and without actually moving SDI cables. So that, that makes it easier on our cable management that we have in the back. Right under that, we got the Blackmagic Web Presenter. This does all the encoding for RTMP, YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, wherever you decide to be streaming to. Right over here, we got the Blackmagic HyperDeck. This does real-time recording and playback as well. Records the two SD, SD slots. Also has a handy headphone jack that we use often. Right in between, we got a bi-directional HDMI to SDI, SDI to HDMI and they do both work at the same time. The inputs we use typically for either computers, drone, any cameras that do not have SDI. You need these to get into the constellation. And for the output, it can be another monitor or it can be to another capture card that's going into a computer. Right under that, we got a 20 inch portable monitor that's not portable anymore because it's epoxy and it's there's another bi-directional unit, like I mentioned over here, there's another one behind this to convert the SDI output to HDMI. And we got an anchor on this side mounted right to the back of it that's connecting all of these devices with USB-C and it's also being ran to this computer right here so we can do all the software control straight from the computer if we need to. Right here you can see my computer's wallpaper and that's because I have an HDMI running from that anchor hub back into that bi-directional that we're using for this monitor's output. And that's to literally use this as a second display going back into the system if we need to play any videos, music that's been provided by the client for, for the event that we're, uh, we're hosting. That's pretty much it for the front side. Now let's jump to the back side and I'll show you everything that we got going on back there, which is a lot. This is the back side of the same SKB case. We actually revamped all the cable management thanks to Computer Guys in Modesto, California. Right here, we got the Focusrite Scarlet. This does all of our audio mixing. It's an interface, so it's USB-C. It goes into that anchor that we were talking about to be controlled via the app or the software on the computer. It's got two headphone jacks, which make it easy for if you have multiple controllers to, to be able to monitor the audio at the same time. We got these XLR cables right here that are being fed to the back of the focus, right? If we need to plug XLR cables in, if we're not doing audio from the camera and we're coming externally. Right next to that, we got four Cat6 uh, ports. Three of them are going as inputs that are going into the switch, they're all PoE. So if we have PTZ cameras, they can all be plugged in right there, simply and cleanly without rummaging through the rig. The one next to it, that's our input CAD 6, which is going into our router. And then the router is going into the switch to give our IPs and everything. Right next to that is four SDI inputs, and those are going straight into the constellation. That's for, you know, wireless cameras, whatever we got going on. Pretty much for the most part, we're using wireless transmitters. If you'd like to see a video on our wireless setup, please drop a comment and we can do a more in-depth video on how we're running wireless to PTZs, to Sony FX3s, whatever cameras we're using on that day. And last but not least, on this one U rack, we got an XLR output that's coming from, from our Focusrite sound card. And what that does, if we're at an event that, you know, wants to broadcast our audio into the house speakers or whatever we can give them an xlr output and that will that'll go to their mixer and right back here we got an a4 tp link poe switch four ports are poe you need poe for things like ptz cameras and any wi-fi access points stuff like that the other four are just standard 
Ethernet ports. They're going to the constellation to the to the all, all the other black magic devices. They need IP addresses to be controlled by the stream deck, for example. And that that'll be another video that we can go into on how we are using the stream deck to make shortcuts and macros to control the constellation. And then one port is going to the router and the router is our input to give us the IP addresses and internet, whether we're getting it from Starlink or we're getting it from the in-house network. This was an overview video of our portable live streaming rig. All of the hardware will be linked in the description below. So you can see everything that we've used in this live streaming rig. If you want any detailed videos that I didn't touch up on necessarily, please let us know. Other than that, peace out.